This tutorial will show how to annotate a PDF in Canvas. There are a few different ways to annotate a PDF in a Canvas assignment. This tutorial will show one that involves only Canvas native tools. So to begin from the assignment page with your PDF linked to it, click to download the PDF. In Google Chrome and in Microsoft Edge, that PDF will appear at the bottom of your screen. Once it's downloaded, click on the Submit Assignment button. Scroll down to the File Upload section and drag and drop that PDF next to the Choose File button. When you see that it's been added there, click the Submit Assignment button. I know what you're thinking, you haven't done anything yet, what am I submitting? Don't worry, we're about to annotate your document. On the right hand side, click on Submission Details and a window will open that shows your document with a link to view feedback. Click on that link and you'll see a window with your document in it. Click on the double sided arrow to enter full screen and to see that document a little bit better. Maybe even zoom in a bit to see your text more clearly. And now you'll see that you have a toolbar at the top of your screen to annotate this document. The first tool is a point annotation that allows you to drop a point anywhere in your document to make a, a question or to leave a comment. So here you can drop your blue marker and then type your question for your teacher. Your teacher can reply right underneath that comment to have a, a comment string there within your document. You'll notice in the upper left, you do have a variety of colors that you can choose to change the color of that point. Next, you have the highlighter annotation tool. This tool does what you think it would. It highlights portions of the text in the document. So here you can highlight this phrase in the sentence and then click on the page icon to leave a comment about what you highlighted. Click outside of that text box and it automatically saves. You'll notice again in the upper left you have the option of different colors for your highlighter. This may be important and useful if your teacher has a color key for different types of annotations. The next type of annotation tool is a text annotation. This allows you to put a text box anywhere on your document. This is particularly useful if you had an open-ended or essay question to type into, but you could also add a text box anywhere in the document to make a comment and have it be exactly where you're referencing within your assignment. Again, you can change the color and the size of the text, and you can also change the background color from white to no background. Our next annotation tool is the strikeout tool. This tool allows you to strike out text, which is helpful if you are editing a document or if you are answering a multiple choice question and you want to eliminate one of the options. You can again click on the page icon to add a comment about what you decided to strike out. The next annotation tool is a free form tool which allows you to make marks in any way on your document. You can use this to circle items, to fill in a graph, or underline things. So an example of this here I might want to circle question three and then again click open the page icon to make a note to your teacher. Perhaps you didn't understand something or wanted clarification. Again, she would be able to, or he would be able to comment right under your initial question or note to have an online conversation. And finally, you have a, an area annotation tool that allows you to put a box around any portion of your document. So you could use this to select an answer in a multiple choice question. You could also use it to select portions of a text or um, put a box around a portion of a text that you had questions about or 
needed clarification on. Again, you can leave a comment with this type of annotation. Once you've finished annotating your document, you can click on the two arrows pointed towards each other to go back to your assignment screen. You'll notice that your document still has all of your annotations exactly where you put them and they've all been automatically saved. The last thing that you need to do is resubmit your assignment. This will tell your teacher that you've actually completed your annotations. Your initial submission was just to upload that blank PDF to allow you to have those tools to annotate. When you resubmit it, you tell your teacher that you've actually completed the annotation.